Good morning, Father. Come with me. Something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Guardate che meraviglia queste spigole! Come see what pride, beauty and years of experience! Prices so low, you won't! The Arte del Cambio warns members to avoid the ventimolios of Bologna. Important defaults suffered by an esteemed member have led to this draconian measure which will until satisfaction is received. Come, friends, here the customer is always right. Davvero, Today's as is guided by stories, me. The short supply of wheat from this year's harvest has pushed the price of the city to the You, stop a moment! Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Hey. Who's that over there? That man looks awfully familiar. What are you up? Ah, I lost him. Shadows. This is a message. I've the mass demonstration. Once again, sending Firenze a message of contempt. The city's youth apparently gathered and bear their posteriors at our honorable delegation. This is... Shame yourself this way, idiot! Non troverete prezzi migliori! Mm. 
Keep up the good work. Biscaro. <laughs> you worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco Di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. Ah, hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Get this to its destination fast, really fast. I'll pay you well. out here, Petruccio. You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise.
Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. So the smithy arts are available here. <laughs> We've sold out of devotional landscapes, but... <gasps> Duccio! It's a beautiful... Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. My father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh, Birbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio! Mm. Mm. Hey! Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. Well, what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! <laughs> and now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all toppy. But when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could, she's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Basta, mi arrendo. Stay away from my sister. Siamo con te. Bravo. Celso, what's he doing? Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here.
I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Here we are. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house, then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. <laughs>